Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Here I will explain about blood sugar Its causes Symptoms and how to prevent it First Let me introduce myself My name is Yogi Purwani Putri You can call me Putri From Medical Laboratorium Technology Diplomatry in Poltekes Yogyakarta NIM B07 1341 So, have you ever heard of blood sugar? Mm, Alright, blood sugar is glucose in the blood that comes from the food consumed, especially carbohydrate. Blood sugar plays an important role in the body because blood sugar serves as the main source of energy in the body. Blood sugar that is too low or too high in the body will interfere with the coordination of the body work and lead to complication if not treated immediately. Blood sugar levels in the body are not constant. Blood sugar, blood sugar levels in the body will change along with activity, age, food, com- food consumption. and others. Normal blood sugar in adults is less than 100 mg per deciliter after not eating or fasting for at least 8 hours and less than 140 mg per deciliter 2 hours after eating. If it exceeds this level, it is considered that the body's blood sugar level is high. Blood sugar is considered low if it is at 70 mg per deciliter. Excess sugar levels in the body are called hyperglycemia by low blood sugar level are called hypoglycemia. Hyperglycemia can occur, occur due to several factors. Among others are disorder of the hormone insulin in the body. dehydration, excessive use of artificial sweeteners, menstruation, and certain drugs. The first is the first is insulin hormone disruption. Insulin is a hormone that plays an important role in maintaining normal blood sugar levels. This hormone, this hormone helps the process of absorbing of glucose by the body cell. for future conversions into energy. If the body does not receive enough insulin of the insulin hormone in the body does not work optimally. As a result, more glucose is absorbed into the body than it should be, resulting in high blood sugar levels. This insulin hormone disorder can be caused by autoimmune condition genetic factors, age, and the application of an unhealthy lifestyle. The second is dehydration. Lack of fluids in the blood flow in the body results in, in, an, increase in, in an increase in the concentration of sugar is in the blood conversely if Blood sugar increase, the body will excrete more urine, more urine the, to balance the concentration of fluid in the body. Therefore, an increase in blood sugar also triggers dehydration. Another cause of hyperglycemia is the use of artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are considered safer than natural sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners can still increase sugar levels if consumed in excess. Researchers report that consumption of artificially sweetened beverage labeled non-calorie in healthy people or non-diabetic can lead the glucose intolerance, increases blood sugar levels, and the risk of developing type 2 diabetes mellitus. The latter is menstruation and certain drugs. 
female hormone during menstruation can make the body insensitive to insulin. As a result, blood sugar in the body rises. Usually, this happens a week before menstrual menstruation takes place. Then, the use of antidepressant and antidiuretic drugs also has the side effect of increasing blood sugar levels. There are many symptoms of hyperglycemia, including always feel thirsty and urinate frequently, feeling ex excessive and persistent, fatigue, always feeling hungry, but losing weight, blurred vision, thermognosis, vomiting, and feeling confused. It says it, often tingly, hand, tingling hands and feet susceptible to infection and wounds are difficult to heal. However, these things are not necessarily the only symptoms of hyperglycemia. For that, it is necessary to check blood sugar with the doctor please. In addition to hyperglycemia, there is also hypoglycemia which has many causes. The first, the first causes of hypoglycemia is taking diabetes drugs or other drugs. Excess insulin resulting from taking these drugs will absorb too much sugar, so the body will like blood sugar. Another, another factor that causes hypoglycemia is alcohol consumption. Drinking a lot of alcohol without food can prevent the liver from releasing stored glucose into the bloodstream. The next is due to critical illnesses such as hepatitis or kidney disease. And the last one is hunger. Prolonged starvation can lead to hypoglycemia because less of the substance is needed to make glucose. Symptoms of hypoglycemia include heartbeat, is to fast, thyroid, pile scale, breathless, excessive spitting, irritable, tingling or numbness of the lips, tell you or sex hard to concentrate, blur division and convulsion, and loss of consciousness consciousness are fighting. Like hyperglycemia, the symptoms are not necessarily due to hypoglycemia. So, it is necessary to check blood sugar with the doctor to be sure. Hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia continuously, if not treated, will be, will be fatal to heart. Hyperglycemia will increase the risk of heart disease stroke and nervous, while hypoglycemia will result in permanent brain damage. How to prevent hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia are relatively same. Hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia can be prevented and overcome by eating uh, nutrition on balanced diet, drinking enough water, diligently Diligently exercising, getting enough rest, and diligently checking blood sugar to the doctor so that the sugar levels in the body can be controlled to be controlled properly. Also, relatively the same, hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia have different treatment. People with hyperglycemia should eat nutritious foods that are high in fiber but minimal in carbohydrate and sugar while people with hypoglycemia must often eat sweet and carbohydrate food especially before exercise and before bed if people with hyperglycemia must take drugs that contain high insulin then people will then people with hypoglycemia must take drugs that are low in insulin level. 
Hey, pernah bit kri hipoglisemia soal also alkohol drinking too much alcohol. In conclusion, blood sugar has an important function for the body, but if blood sugar levels are too high or too low, it will be bad for bad for her. There are different causes of hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia, but both have the same core, namely unhealthy lifestyle patterns. Because the same symptoms experienced may also occur in normal people. It is necessary to check blood sugar regularly by a doctor. Hyper Hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia will not be scary things if you maintain a healthy lifestyle, eat adequate and balanced nutrition, food regularly, choose food every only like exercise such as wading, water drink in enough water to avoid get enough sleep and rest. And doing regular checkups, blood blood sugar. Um, maybe that's all I can say. There is a lack of sorry. Thanks for watching. See you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.